What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf Al Sanad And today guys and gals, I wanna share with y'all my top 5 favorite movies of 2018 Which of course is a honorable mentions list Because yours truly has not seen every movies of 2018 And because of that guys and gals, this list will be exclusive to movies yours truly has seen, loved And will include in his top 5 favorite movies of 2018 on mentions of course and this list guys and gals is my personal opinion and my personal picks of movies I love and my top 10 favorite movies of 2018 guys and gals will come soon sometime this year guys and gals I promise you all and trust me guys and gals I will keep my promise to you all that I will so without further ado guys and gals let's begin my top five favorite movies of 2018 honorable mentions that is at number five we have David David Leach's Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2, guys and gals, while good, is not as good as the first Deadpool movie, which is my personal favorite of the two. But Deadpool 2, guys and gals, was still a good movie, a good movie which I loved. The action, the comedy, the one-liners, and of course the parody on action movies and superhero films was so much fun to watch. And Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool, or Douchepool as yours truly calls him, was an absolute douchebag but a douchebag who was quite charming and quite skilled at both fighting and of course running his mouth because you know he's the merc with the mouth and his mouth guys and gals is quite big and so annoying but hey guys and gals that's douche pool for you and that's why Deadpool 2 ranks at number 5. At number 4 we have Ryan Coogler's Black Panther. Black Panther guys and gals was a huge surprise for me because honestly guys and gals I've grown so tired of the Marvel movies which comes out every year, every fucking year guys and gals. Talk about oversaturation which is what the Marvel movies are guys and gals. Oversaturation and constant Marvel movies released every year. No matter how good they are guys and gals that is overkill. But Ryan Coogler's Black Panther was a huge surprise for me and a good movie. A great action movie, a great drama, a great origin tale of Black Panther. T'Challa himself, the Black Panther and like most Marvel movies guys and gals this film was quite funny and quite charming too and Black Panther guys and gals is what many consider a revolutionary movie in terms of the casting which includes an all black cast and that guys and gals in itself is quite revolutionary indeed and that's why Black Panther ranks at number 4 at number 3 we have Steven Sisko's Unfriended Dark Web Unfriended Dark Web is the sequel to the first Unfriended movie Movie, which yours truly loves and was somewhat terrified by because that movie guys and gals could very well happen to any one of us because of the nature of social media and the internet as a whole especially the darkest parts of the internet not just the dark web itself guys and gals but people people are what's dark people can be dark and people can be cruel and people can be merciless on the internet becoming absolute bullies who bully people and drive them insane and drive them to their deaths which is the unfortunate circumstances of these young kids in this movie a tragedy which befalls all of them and that's the true horror of this movie Unfriended Dark Web and because of that guys and gals this movie ranks at number 3 at number 2 we have Corinne Hardy's The Nun The Nun guys and gals by Corinne Hardy is one of the most underrated movies of 2018 and without question one of my absolute favorite movies of last year Hence why this movie is included on my top 5 list of favorite movies of 2018, honorable mentions of course. Thaisa Farmiga and Damien Bashir guys and gals, both of them are so great in the roles they play which they excelled at. And Frenchie guys and gals, the young actor himself, I forgot his name but he's so great and so charming as well and quite handsome too. And you guys and gals know how much I love pretty boys in movies, indeed I do guys and gals and I absolutely love Frenchie that I do and the psychological horror element of this movie guys and gals was so effective and this movie the main antagonist himself or herself Valak the defiler the profane and of course the Marquis of Snakes was so terrifying and so creepy in its design and that's why Corinne Hardy's The Nun ranks at number two and finally guys and gals at number one we have Sylvain White's Slenderman. Sylvain White's Slenderman guys and gals is without 
question my personal favorite movie of 2018, which once again includes only honorable mentions, honorable mentions which yours truly loves. And this movie, guys and gals, Sylvain White's Slender Man, is the absolute best and the one I love most. What can I say about this movie, guys and gals, except the fact that I made three videos on this movie, one review and two videos which are basically analysis type videos you guys and gals can watch, the links of which will be down below in the description box but this movie guys and gals was so scary so effective and of course so heartwarming this film guys and gals has so much heart and so much soul and just like Corinne Hardy's The Nun guys and gals this movie is so underrated Sylvain White's Slender Man is so misunderstood and so very good guys and gals a good movie and a good horror movie I do recommend you guys and gals watch the same can be said about all four movies all other four movies on my top five list of favorite movies of 2018 honorable mentions and that was my list guys and gals hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my gaming channel where i do let's play series gaming content and so much more until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara